Hey everyone, how's it going? Hope you're doing good. I'm doing great as always. So my last video, I talked about my first impressions of shooting with the Nikon Z9. So far, so good. It's a really, really nice camera to shoot with. If you want to hear about my first impressions, you know, check out that video. But after uploading that video, I saw that I had a few comments and questions regarding what I talked about. And one of them specifically was from High Dynamic Photography and Films. And they asked, I am interested in off-camera flash settings. I wish you had talked about this in the video. I'm sorry. Uh, where do you find that setting? Thank you and great first impression. So for off-camera flash shooting with the, the Nikon Z, Z9, uh, there's actually two things I change in the camera. One will be with the shutter speed and one will be with the view mode when you're shooting. So let's go through that now. Um, I will be using my trusty little sidekick trunks here that I bought in uh, 1996 in Brandon, Manitoba. Uh, yes, I've been a dork longer than you probably. <laughs> uh, so yeah, but I'll use them as a little testing subject and I'll show you the back of the camera as I go through those settings. Okay, so first thing I change is I go to my flash settings. So I go into the menu, come uh, down to, oops, come down to the pencil, go over to my flash, and I go to the flash sync speed. Now with, I use Braun Color, uh, Sirios, Sirios, uh, the 800s, they're really nice strobes. And so I set my sync speed here to 120, uh, 250 auto FP. Now this allows me to use uh, HyperSync and get me using uh, actual shutter speeds above 250, uh, and which allows me for a great action shots. So if you're gonna be using any kind of off-camera flash and you're using HyperSync, you wanna check this uh, and change this on your camera. It might be a different system uh, than 250, might have to do 200 depending on what strobes you're using. So check this and test it out. And so just check that when you first start. And then the other thing you're gonna wanna do here is when you're shooting with the Z9, it's a mirrorless camera. So you have to go and change your view mode when shooting with external strobes. So we go from, we're out of flash, then we go to B, which is shooting and display. Come over to view mode, which is little D number eight. And now I change it from show effects of settings. So this is where, as you're looking at the viewfinder, you can see how the image changes. Say if you, as you raise your shutter speed or change your ISO, now you wanna change it to adjust for ease of viewing. This will mean that no matter how you change your settings, what you see will be basically uh, what you see with your eye at the moment. And I'll show you why this is important uh, right now. So let's change it here. So your auto is fine. And we're good. Now I'll use my little trusty sidekick trunks and we'll do a little test shoot right here. Okay, so you can see the back of my camera here, my the back of my Nikon Z9. And you can see my settings here are at uh, 1 100th of a second, f1.8, ISO 200. So at these settings, this is the kind of image I will get when I take. And in the normal settings with the mirrorless camera, as I change the shutter speed, say, as an example, the image gets darker, letting less light in. Or if, say, I change my aperture, again, obviously, it gets darker. Now, this is great when you're shooting uh, in natural light, maybe portraiture or natural light or in the street or something like that. But um, when you're shooting with off-camera flash, you're actually going to be using settings that are much darker than the natural light in your environment because you're adding extra light with your strobes. So now, if, say, I want to shoot here, I want to kill all the natural light, makes me need to shoot at uh, 1 2,500th of a second. Now I can't see anything I'm doing or the model's doing or where, where, where my model is or anything like that if I leave it on this setting. And I've actually had this problem before of shooting on another camera. It took me forever to figure it out. So uh, like I just did in the settings here, um, what I just showed you now, we're gonna go to menu, shooting display, view mode, and I'm gonna take it from show effects of settings to adjust for ease of viewing. And auto, and then we come back. And now what it does is, it's showing me basically what I see with my naked eye, and no matter what I do with the settings, this does not change. So when shooting with off-camera flash, this is extremely important. You need to be able to do this, or you're not gonna be able to see your subject uh, at all. Now one cool thing is, I use brown color. This is the uh, the trigger I have for my brown color uh, strobes. And the amazing thing is, and I don't know why, but say now I'm gonna go back to the menu, shooting display, view mode, put it back to show effects of settings. 
Okay, so I turned it back. And again, we're gonna be shooting at, I don't know, something crazy. Now, when I put this on the camera and turn it on, it goes directly back to that mode and I don't have to worry about switching my modes in my camera. This is pretty cool. Maybe check with if you're using Profoto or any other cameras uh, setups. I don't know how, uh, how, your, how your strobes work in that, but mine will do this automatically with brown color. So that's quite nice. Just a little bit of bonus information for you. I take it off and it's back to that setting. Now, one thing I've done to make this a little bit easier for myself, uh, just in case something doesn't work, is I've changed this menu setting here to set it real quickly. Change it back. So you can, there's, there's uh, buttons on the camera and things like that that you can customize. So if you want to change your menus, you can do that right here. Put it in this one. I didn't want what was in there. And I just changed it back over. Yeah. So you can go back and forth as you wish. Hope that helps. So yeah, just a real quick demonstration there how to change the uh, mode in your camera so you can use that, so you can actually see what you're doing when you're shooting off camera flash. Uh, this is very important to do or else you really won't be able to see anything at all. I've been kind of messed up in a shoot like that with a different camera and it took me forever to figure it out. So if you're having trouble, just switch it over. But you never know, like I use brown color and I have this trigger. When I put it on my camera, it does it automatically for me. So if you do have the Z9, Check what trigger you use, throw it on there and see if it pops it back and forth for you automatically because that kind of saves you a lot of time and hassle and uh, you might forget how to change it. And just in case it doesn't work sometime and I've forgotten how to change it, I've also customized one of the buttons in my menu so I can do that right away because you never know what happens when you're on a job. Things can change quite suddenly. So uh, high dynamic photography and films. I hope that answers your questions. If anybody else has any other questions or things you want me to check on the camera, feel free to ask and I'll be happy to make another video. Cheers. Thanks a lot. You know, always subscribe, give some likes and any other comments I'm super happy to get. Thanks guys.